。好，有個講解，講解啫。Great, yeah. Keep on wrapping around here, folks. So I don't have to yell too much at the back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so, at long last, we're finally headed down into the underground. Is everyone excited? Yes. yes. Good. Sure. The underground was shut down in 1907 because of the plague. How are you feeling now? <laughs> Even more excited. Great. Good. Yeah, in 1907, five people died of the bubonic plague. The city panicked. They knew that rats carried the plague. They knew there were a ton of rats down in the underground. So they tried putting a bounty on rats. <laughs> they said, for every rat tail you bring us to prove you killed a rat, we'll pay you 10 cents. Which was a lot of money back then. Yeah, people were really excited by that. They were so excited, they started breeding the rats. <laughs> so we shut down the underground. Nothing to worry about today, folks. Not because there's not rats down there. There are. But all of our rats have been fully vaccinated, so it's totally fine. Okay? Now, as we head down the stairs, we're headed into a room that's very uneven. Watch your step, especially at the bottom of the stairs. All right. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Stay with the rats. After you. Oh, can I go in there first? Yep. Great. <laughs> Stay with the rats. Okay. Oh, every step. Oh, really uneven, huh? Very uneven. Foundation is cracked. <laughs> they gotcha. Uneven. Uneven. Foundation is. You're very uneven. You're very uneven. You're very Foundation是 
In the middle of the road here, that is a sinkhole. It is outlined in white. That is sawdust. This is actually deceptive. It was said to be so deep that a horse could drown in the road. That is a terrible problem for a city to have. Thank goodness we burned it down. <laughs> now the final thing to point out about this photo is that all of these buildings are pretty ramshackle and made of wood. Yeah, not for long. June 6, 1889, a teenager is left in charge of a block of glue. Glue, back in those days, it was solid. It was made of horse parts. So it needed to be melted down. This teenager had one job, which was to put the glue on the boil and then take it off. Well, he put the glue on the boil, and then we took it out. And that's it. When he remembered what he was supposed to be doing, he was now dealing with a grease fire. And he did the exact thing you're not supposed to do when dealing with a grease fire, which is... Water. Congratulations, none of you would have thrown down Seattle. Yeah, he threw water on it, and the fire spread into the cabinet shop where he worked. But don't worry, it gets worse. Because above that cabinet shop, was a paint shop. Oh. And to one side of that cabinet shop, a liquor store. <laughs> so the volunteer fire brigade shows up. They're very excited to use their brand new hydrants that are also connected to wooden water pipes. Go figure, they don't work by the time they get there. So they decide they'll go out to the bay, they'll bring water back in buckets. The tide, of course, is out. So nothing is going right for the Volunteer Fire Brigade. By this time, a crowd has gathered to watch the fire because people are fundamentally the same in any time period. And the crowd, well, they start heckling the Volunteer Fire Brigade. <laughs> and the Volunteer Fire Brigade then remembers a very important word in their name, volunteer. <laughs> they walk away, the city burns to the ground. Wow. The fire burns for 12 hours before it's finally stopped. And it's stopped by the fact that there's nothing left to burn. It burns down 33 square blocks of the city, functionally the entirety of Seattle at that time, other than the residential district, which managed to be safe up on the cliffs. It is estimated that over a million rats died in that fire. Amen. <laughs> but not a single person died in the Great Seattle Fire. That is a miracle, truly. And it gave us the chance to rebuild, which is something that we really desperately needed to do. In fact, the mayor at the time, he's an engineer. He goes, you know, this is good. When we built the city the first time, we really messed it up. When we rebuild, we can fix a lot of those original mistakes. We can raise the city up and build a sea wall so the tide stops coming in all the way to Second Street. And we can raise our pipes, so no more exploding crackers. <laughs> Huzzah! The business owners, understandably, very excited by that. They say, great, let's do it. How? Mayor says, oh, it's simple. We're going to knock down the cliffs where the residential district is. We're going to take all of that dirt and debris. We'll bring it down here. We'll level the city out as much as we can. And it shouldn't even take that long, probably about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, and the business owners say, sorry, how long did you just say? And the very next day, the business owners start rebuilding their businesses at the exact same elevation, ignoring the mayor entirely. The mayor sees that, he goes, fine, you start rebuilding, we'll compromise. So, a few new rules for your businesses. First, your buildings can't be made out of wood. Turns out that burns. We burned something, that's great. Next, your buildings have to be tall and they cannot sink. You see from in here how well we followed that direction. <laughs> Finally, your main entrance cannot be on your ground floor. We are building the city up. So your main entrance needs to be on your second story where the city is going to be. I point out again, second story of the corn building and the first story. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Uh -huh. Great. Now, as we head this way, we're gonna be headed out of the corn building and onto what would have been the sidewalk at the time. But I do wanna point out, in this window right over here, that is in fact an original cracker. 
it is elevated off the floor height. That's because they were still pretty gun shy about the whole toilet exploding thing. So check that out in this window right over here, and then we'll head this way. Oh, yes. Uh, well, not, not yet. There was about uh, a, a lot of people were coming out of the 